as we have pointed out is a declaration of 83 paragraphs it has a lot of content there is there are a lot of subjects which have been covered some of which we have spoken about uh, but obviously because of uh, the uh, ongoing uh, conflict the strong views about it uh, considerable time was spent especially in the last few days uh, in regard to geopolitical issues uh, which really centered around uh, uh, the war in uh, Ukraine. Uh, the question who helped, I mean eventually everybody helped because everybody came together for the consensus. But I think uh, if I, Sherpa would bear me out, I think the emerging markets took a, a particular lead on this and you know many of us uh, have uh, a strong history of working together. Bear in mind that uh, actually you have four developing countries in succession as G20 presidency, Indonesia, us, uh, Brazil and South Africa. So, but, but I, I would say rather than, you know, uh, who helped, uh, the, the point to be recognized is that a common uh, landing point was uh, ultimately uh, fashioned out. Uh, on the uh, Black Sea uh, Grain Corridor, uh, there are, you know, many discussions uh, going on. Uh, as you know, uh, the Foreign Minister of Russia is here, uh, the President of Turkey and his, Turkey and his delegation are here, UN Secretary General is here, other people are here. So uh, it's, uh, it's natural that there would be discussions uh, uh, going on on this. In the past, uh, I should add, uh, when, when the Green Corridor was created uh, at Bali uh, last year, uh, we had also in our own way contributed uh, to some bridging of uh, uh, viewpoints and concerns, both between, uh, at that time, between Turkey and Russia, and also worked with the UN Secretary General. Uh, on the sentence, or you know, that phrase about having different viewpoints and assessments, I, I think we are, we are being transparent. I mean, it is a fact. This is today uh, a very uh, polarizing issue. There are multiple views on this. Uh, you know, uh, there are a, a spectrum of views on this. So I think in all fairness, it was only right to record uh, what was the reality uh, in the in the meeting rooms, and uh, I think that is the sense uh, that is uh, sought to be uh, captured. Uh, and I will uh, leave the climate action uh, issue to uh, to uh, Sherpa, and I don't know if Finance Minister would like to uh, speak on it. Uh, but on the global south, uh, look, uh, it is not you know what India has tried to do, uh, beginning with our presidency was to uh, seek to ensure that the concerns of the global south constitute the core uh, agenda uh, of the G20 deliberations. Because after three years of pandemic, after economic disruptions of various kinds, after the impact uh, of the Ukraine conflict, after climate events, uh, the fact is that the countries of the Global South are in deep economic distress. And that distress has not, in our view, been fully recognized till now. Uh, and uh, we therefore very consciously started off with the voice of the Global South Summit. But again, I emphasize, the voice was of the summit. It was the voice of 125 countries who participated in that summit. But we, as the G20 presidency, uh, we saw it as our responsibility of uh, distilling the views which were expressed uh, in that summit and putting it uh, before the uh, rest of the G20. And we can take a lot of satisfaction that many of the issues that the finance minister highlighted, which the Sherpa highlighted, these are truly uh, Global South issues. And we hope that uh, uh, certainly the Delhi summit and the deliberations which will take place today and tomorrow would give uh, strong guidance to take them forward. Uh, uh, Sherpa uh, Amitabh ji, if you want to add to it. 
On the Russia-Ukraine crisis, India worked very closely with Brazil, South Africa, and Indonesia. And uh, I want to say that it was the emerging markets which played a very key role. India worked with all the emerging markets which played a very key role. Uh, there was very tough, very ruthless negotiations which went on for several days non-stop. And I really want, I really feel that in the end, it was, the, it was, the issue was clinched because of the leadership of the Prime Minister, because uh, eventually we had to say that the leader wants it. And this has to be, uh, who worked with me, uh, Inam Gambhir, they did a really outstanding job as far as the geopolitical issues concerned. Uh, I had two other foreign service officers who've done brilliant work, Abhet Hakur and Ashish Sinha, uh, on different aspects, but on geopolitics, they've done a really spectacular work. So it was really great teamwork. It was just brilliant teamwork by India, uh, which has enabled us to achieve consensus on an issue on which the world has evaded any consensus. Uh, even the Bali uh, document which, it, which we f uh, talk about, actually we could not move forward with it because uh, we could not arrive consensus in it for the first meeting. And on 